Hello, hello, happy Saturday, and welcome to Latin X Now, where we take a look at the top entertainment news through the Latin lens. I am Claudia Vergara. And I'm Christian Acosta, and as always, we have so much here to talk about, so let's get right into it. You know, today, we have something really special for you all. We're all in self-isolation. We're all staying at home as much as possible. Well, we're not the only ones. Our favorite artists and celebrities are also staying at home, but connecting with us via social media. And Nastasha Bolivar has come up with something to show us how much their numbers and engagement has really changed connecting with us via social media during this time. Let's take a look. The coronavirus has taken a toll on the entertainment industry due to canceled shows, events, and productions. As a result of this, artists have taken to social media as a way to communicate directly with their fans. The world has been in quarantine for months and live online experiences are changing the entertainment industry during this pandemic. We partnered with Shareably to give you the numbers behind this change in the entertainment world. But is this strategy really working for them? <laughs> One tactic that is helping celebs are live streams. In a statement from Instagram in April, live usage on their platform is up over 70% in the US. Furthermore, most artists who have gone live on Instagram have seen an increase in Instagram followers. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! No stranger to Instagram lives, Cardi B posted a total of 10 IG lives since mid-March. She has been known to invite guests to the party like her hubby, Offset, J Balvin, Bernie Sanders, and Jason Lee. Since COVID-19 was declared a pandemic on March 11th, Cardi B has seen an increase in her huge following. She's grown an 8% on Instagram, that's over 4.8 million followers in less than three months. On Friday, April 17th, Tiny and Looney Tunes took to IG Live for a reggaeton beat battle. The pair stream started on late Friday evening and ended early that Saturday morning. By then, Looney Tunes had amassed an additional 32K followers in 24 hours and then another 21.7K on Sunday. Not to be outdone, Tiny gained 49.4K followers during the stream and another 30.6K on Sunday. The contest ended in a tie, determined by Osuna, but both reggaeton artists came out winning by boosting their following nearly 20% in one night. <laughs> Demi Lovato has gone live on Instagram twice since the pandemic was declared. Speaking on health and the coronavirus, Demi gained 52K Instagram followers the day of the first stream, and then another 52K during the second. Surprisingly though, the best results came from the artists who did not stream as frequently and showcase their personality, or took a more creative route when connecting with their fans. One artist who put his full creative force into his content was Bad Bunny. He posted a handful of witty and entertaining posts such as pictures of him sun tanning in his birthday suit and a video of his personal reenactment of the film Toy Story. Quieto, dinosaurio. That's not all though, no, nope, because on March 27th, Benito dropped a new music video for Yo Perreo Sola. He earned 575k alone in three days following the video. On May 2nd, he took to IG for his only live stream so far during the quarantine. Bad Bunny streamed for over three hours and expressed his gratitude to his fans, shared anecdotes about his Yo Hago Lo Que Me La Gana album, and performed unreleased songs. The day after his live stream, he gained 31k new followers on Instagram. And that following week, he gained 341k new followers. On May 10th, Benito surprised the world with a new album, Las Que No Iban A Salir. He gained an additional 32k new followers after the release of this album and now stands at a whopping 26.7 million followers. Fellow reggaetonero J Balvin was also not far behind by dropping two new music videos during quarantine, Verde and Rosa, and four sporadic Instagram lives. He has captured nearly 4 million new followers and fans. But what's next for the entertainment industry? Aside from live streams, which are currently overwhelming social media, artists are taking part in emerging digital events to connect with their fans. 
Between April 23rd and April 25th, Travis Scott performed his surreal psychedelic virtual concert inside of a popular video game, Fortnite. The event coincided with the release of his new single, The Scots, together with Kid Cudi, launching the song to number one on the Billboard's Hot 100 chart during the week of May 3rd. Even though Travis' in-game performance wasn't the first, his virtual concert looks like a promising approach to how the entertainment industry and other artists could reposition themselves. Celebs have done virtual meet and greets and have even sat down for virtual Q&As, which wasn't very common prior to the pandemic. Now more than ever, fans seem to be more connected to their favorite celebrities. But will this virtual strategy be able to monetize itself is the question. Can virtual concerts replace the billions of dollars record labels and artists bring in performing live or on tour? Will fans pay for virtual meet and greet? And will it have the same impact as meeting your favorite celebs in person? How the industry adapts to business after the coronavirus will ultimately decide the future of entertainment. I'm only going to say one thing because I only have one thing to say. <laughs> if there's a good thing that has come out of this whole pandemic and isolation and disaster that we're living in is how close everyone is right now to all the celebrities, all the artists that have been so open to their audience and their fans through social media right now. So if there's one good thing is that for sure. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I, you know, it's it's crazy to think about how much this really has impacted these celebrities' numbers and engagement. I just wish that I got a little boost myself. <laughs> ah, I really did. You're not but, doing you know, enough lives. That's true. That's true. I need to be doing more lives. But you know, I also think that the the reason for this could possibly be that we're all going through this together, right? No matter where you're at, no matter how much money you have, no matter all, everyone. Is, is experiencing this in one way or another, including, again, our favorite artists and celebrities. And so I think that that's also a connection that we're all just having globally. And I think that that possibly also helps with having that engagement, you know, constant. So no, I, don't know, I, think you know what? I think it's pretty cool. And I also think that content, like literally, I feel like any kind of content, it doesn't matter what it is right now, every single form of it's content welcome. is like super it's valuable. Yes. Yeah. So it's like, doesn't matter what you do. That's why TikTok is also so huge right now. It's like, just, it's yeah. insane. It's insane. You're absolutely right. Well, you know what? We also have content for you guys every yes, we single do. day here on Latinx Now. Not only are we here for you on YouTube every single day, obviously you got to make sure you subscribe to this channel, but also in addition to that, we're also on social media platforms. Check us out at Latinx Now for all of your daily dose of content there as well. All right, guys, that's it for today. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. That's it. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. I got to work on my farmer's tan. Oh, my God. Amigos, nosotros somos Latinx Now y bueno, aquí les damos toda la información acerca de tus artistas favoritos. Y estamos todos los días, lunes, martes, miércoles. Ya se me olvidaron los días, pero suscríbanse porque estamos todos los días. No tienen excusa, suscríbanse. Nadie más tiene nada más que hacer, así que suscríbanse. Suscríbanse. Gratis. Todos los días.